This podcast features adults using adult language. So, <laughs> what kind of guy are you? You're the leader, right? Yeah. Chris, so, you're a leader. Who who are you? Yeah, yeah. No, no. We well, obviously we've made well, the look, we've made the characters. Yeah. Right. Car heel two coins. Yeah, I'm yeah. just gonna leave it. I like that. But let's. But Can if there's any questions Carl? about if there's any questions about any yeah, of the you, items on you can the sheet, call me Carl. Um, Carl, it's already it's already happened. Yeah. He had I like, Cargill two I like coins. That he's got he's got two nicknames. He's Cargill Carl, and then also in quotes two coins, <laughs> and, then a pair, and then parentheses three coins, and then brackets <laughs> two coins. Also three coins. If you knew me in college, I was three coins. But, but, in three coins, but also right. also it's um it's tied uh, to the gold price. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like it he was has some, a, there was rough val- times. His value is set, time. but eco- like during economic hard times, he might be a, you know a copper. And depending on you know. and depending on what lady I'm talking to, oh, you might you, you, might, kinda, you might crank it up. How many coins? They call me four coins, but you didn't know that. Guess why? Well, yeah, yeah, four, four coins, whatever those might. There be. are more where that came from. And actually, no, that's why they call me that. Because I, it's a set number. I was just going to say, there's there's a point at which you can oversell it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like you can sort of you can sort of see that you can see it in their expression. Yeah. As soon as you, you get, as soon as you begin to amplify it, there is a there is an event there's horizon. A, there's a threshold. <laughs> exactly. You Beyond which you can't jump up like I'm Mr. Thousand. You're you're no longer titillating. <laughs> it's not believable anymore. Now you're a horrifying creature. Well, it's, you're it's, you're a it's desert just, mutant. It's just accounting at that point. What if I gave you my yeah. account, my statement, right at the end of the month? Like I could tell you, I have seventeen hundred eighty six coins. Yeah. At this time, it's yeah. not catchy. No. 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 It doesn't speak for you. If you buy them a drink, do you have to change your name because you spent a little. So like, dark sun. Oh, four coins. Yes, you know, it's like it's actually two coins now. Um, yes, dark sun is a place. Um, like I said, we have created the character concepts. You can see that they each have a theme, which is something new. Anything that's on that character sheet that you are curious about uh, now is an incredible time. Uh, to discuss those items. All right, is Dark Sun the name of a place or just the name of this place? Why is this sun so dark here? You know, surprisingly, the sun is actually very bright. That's a, That's a misnomer. I'm done with this shit. In my estimation, I think it's a substantial, it's a concern for the brand going forward. Yeah, but bright sun doesn't sound very good, does it? Well, no. No, no. You're moving into like a rainbow bright right. kind of Care Bears type sun. environment. Beach. You know, pleasant sun. Yeah. This sucks. Fun sun. As a, you know, as a post-apocalyptic... Actually, I guess it's pre-apocalyptic. It's like it would be as though the apocalypse happened in the future, but you're in the past after time had looped. I would say that's the right description. I don't know if I like that. I'm sure they're shitting themselves. That's very... That's confusing. Uh, no. Well, it's like the apocalypse for the era. We're a little bit beyond... Where yeah. things went wrong. Yeah, exactly. It's, well, it's Blade Runner. <clears throat> it's an it's an yeah. It, it's a, it's an apocalypse in a hard candy show. Yeah, it's a delicious apocalypse. No, uh, the basic idea uh, of the uh, Dark Sun context is that it is. I would say it's almost a medieval apocalypse. It's an apocalypse by a different route. It's not a it's not an industrial event. It is unchecked <coughs> sorcery. Um, oh, that's what caused the apocalypse, huh? Magic. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. That might be a spoiler. Oh shit! Um, no, no, I read about all about it. Yeah, uh, but it's a it distinguishes itself in a couple ways. I would say that the you know a lot of times in you know, it's like you're talking about magic and it's like hey magic that's totally rad. That is not the uh, that is not the first thought of a person uh, on Athos, the world of Dark Sun. Uh, there's there might be one person in a thousand who has a high opinion. Of sorcery as a way of bettering the human condition. Well, it's they tried, almost, it's they almost, tried that already. It's almost universally considered evil, and there is a way to. I mean, magic inherently, the power that magic draws comes from life force, creatures, people, plants. Um, so you cast a spell, does something die? Yes. Wow. It sucks its um, power. There is a a method of using magic that does not do that. It's substantially more difficult to learn and at the not end of it fun. yeah you get less miles per spell yeah um, so you're not able to get into the, the advanced perks um, you don't get access to the admiral's lounge for example no, but basically preservation 
which is the would be the good magic quote unquote of this setting. Even even preservers aren't uh, aren't considered much be- much better than their defiler counterparts. Um, and it's also quite true that magic, uh, preservation magic, or indeed any non-sanctioned magic, any magic that isn't sanctioned by the sorcerer kings, um, is literally illegal. Why would sorcerers be kings here if sorcerers are so bad, if magic's so bad? Well, because they're the only ones that can do it. Oh. Um, and they've established... Are the people mad about that? Uh, more or less. I think, I think that in general people are just trying to survive from day to day. Well, they don't have time to get pissed. That's right. Because um, they're really hungry. Yes, or they're a slave, and um, they have other shit to worry about. They're slaves. Yes, I would say that slave, sla- slavery is get pissed, actually, slavery is, is, is quite common. This is is there dark sun. Yes, I was just going to say, if it, it, as suns go, uh, maybe not the best. Is maybe it not still the best. Like sun. A fantasy, like, uh, or is, are there like trains and stuff? Uh, there are no trains. <laughs> um, there are no what? trains. What? <laughs> <laughs> like Eberron has trains, doesn't it? And it's fantasy. Uh, oh, I didn't realize. I, no, I, I, are, they, are, are they made out of lightning like, rails? I don't know. It's, it's ants. It's ant rail. I just want to know, like, what kind of world I'm going into. Uh, a blasted Can I hail a cab. A blasted wasteland. What kind of snacks are there? Uh, <laughs> uh, a vast desert, as far as the a substantial portion of the population is aware. Dotted by tyrannical city states, operated by capricious uh, and often bizarre sorcerer kings, and, and even one sorcerer queen. So there's not really like forests and stuff. Uh, no, no. Are there uh, the idea, dragons? The idea of a forest outside of um, uh, outside of magically sustained forests. Oh. Uh, yeah. The idea of a forest would be almost inconceivable. So you could not get like a chef salad. Well, you could get their equivalent of a chef salad, which is your own liver <laughs> um, eaten out of your body by yourself. Oh. That would be their chef that's, salad. That's it's not really something good. I would order. That would be the uh, that would be the Athasian it's chef pretty, salad. It's pretty delicious. Yeah. No. Are there you, dragons? You wouldn't order it. Um, there are drakes. Which I like are, a dragon. Uh, they are they are not what you would think of as a as a dragon. No. Okay. <clears throat> so this is just dungeons, basically. It's dungeons and drakes. Dungeons and drakes. They're taking it totally. New, they're taking it in a totally new direction. All right. So who do we have here uh, before us? Uh, well, as the adventure begins, look. You start with our fearless leader. Yeah. Hey guys, my name is Cargill. Two coins. You can call me Two Coins, or you can call me Carl, which is what I used to go by in middle school. It stuck. <laughs> Okay, but this is but remember this is a, a grim middle school. Yeah, it's, the two it's coins. Stuck, you come and go. <laughs> the two the two <laughs> coins represent the coins you place on the eyes of the kids whose lunch money you stole. Right. <laughs> Just lay there. I'm not dead. Just, Sit down. Right, and unfortunately, in that action of bullying them, I gave up two coins. <laughs> You're dead now. <laughs> well, I got your coins. Shut up. Oh, I'm hungry. So I'm it sucks nothing. as as a methodology. Yeah, it wasn't very smart. So you were mocked. young. You were young. You it, know? Yeah, I mean, I was, I was, I was probably nineteen, twenty. Yeah. So <laughs> it's it's been two years. I learned a lot. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I do. I you have not prepared any other backgrounds, right? No, my background provided no, for me. No, no, no. I, that's that's just that's just flavor on there. That is yeah. not something that you have to think about at I all. I like to discover that as we go. Oh yeah, no. Absolutely, but I can tell you something about. Uh, the basic mechanics there. So of, uh, so of the warlord. Exactly. So a, a skirmishing warlord is a leader who leads mostly from the back. Mm-hmm. Uh, he doesn't really Hey-o. go. He, he doesn't really go. To, <laughs> what, is that a, was that? Like, he said from the back, not the butt. Was that erotic? Yeah. Okay. I, I have a hard time telling sometimes, <laughs> but essentially, uh, fr- from a distance, sort of managing the battle. From um, a distance. Did you redraw it? Yeah. You see. Yours got better, mine got worse. Yeah, it's usually how it works. Yeah. Um, but the theme there, it. the theme there is Templar. Um, and this, yeah, I, I, well, I can, it's your second one. I can see your, I can see your confused expression, mm-hmm. and I'm ready to help you. Like yeah, I need to know because he's because he's characters. human. I like that him. confuses me. That's but right. he's also a, I like he's the, a skirmishing like a scorpion tail tattoo. But right. he's but he's a Templar theme. 
I oh, like it. I which like it means mouth. what? What's about a theme? So yeah, yeah. the way that the way that a theme works is that in in you know in regular Dungeons and Dragons Fourth Edition, um, as you, as you gain levels, you can eventually choose a paragon path, right? Which is a way for you to customize your character. Mm. Um, in Dark Sun, there are paragon paths, but there are also themes. A also, theme, in addition to that's right. A theme okay. is is a is basically is essentially a paragon path, a kind of character you can choose to be from first level. They have their own powers. Um, they, it basically helps you. It helps give you some flavor, but it has a there's a combat uh, manifestation as well. A Templar is so. The, the other thing that you should know about Athos is that gods, as as you would conceive of them, say in Forgotten Realms um, or in the base setting, don't don't exist. Hmm. There's no such. There, there'd be no sim, similar to these forests, which very few people would ever have been able to see let alone conceive of, um, the idea of a, of a god or regular worship of a god is, is inconceivable. Where'd, where'd they go? Uh, that's, that's an incredible question. Maybe we'll learn about that while we play. So mm-hmm. there's no divine powers? There are no divine powers. Huh. So we've they, been what forsaken. They, what they do have, yeah, or, or, or you forsook, I mean, we'll figure it out. But a Templar <coughs> is literally the agent of a sorcerer king's will. So there was a time in your past where you served a sorcerer king. Specifically, I think we chose Kalak, which is the sorcerer king of Tyr. Mm-hmm. But he channels his sorceress might through you, and that allows you to manifest Yikes. you know, what, what you might consider uh, divine powers in another setting. Do I worship him? Uh, you serve him. Okay. Um, worship is probably not a bad idea. Given his incredible might, but you know a Templar, a Templar can be anything from a clerk. Obviously, they, they are not vested <laughs> with substantial power in order to operate their abacus. Mm-hmm. But scouts, you know, people on the front lines, people who serve Calic in a in a in a battle context, absolutely receive a portion of his might. And that portion <coughs> that portion now mm-hmm. is not mighty. It's mostly a vestige of your former service. You know. The warlord is your focus now, but you were a Templar for some time, probably familial in that regard. I mean, and, and, you know, Do you think we're going to talk about Chris's character all night? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah, he, he's, who, he's, my, he's my favorite. Who were my parents? That's, that's up to you. What kind of house did I have? Now we're going to talk to Mike. <laughs> Michael? Um, Tell me about your character. My name is Mantis Eaglehawk. I'm a... Uh, Wait, it's Mantis now? Mantis, yeah. Mantis Eaglehawk? Mantis Eaglehawk. <laughs> Well, the, you, you were entertaining Manus. I was entertaining Manus and Mandus. Mandus. No, that's like a girl's name. Mandus? No, a Mandus is... That's, that's yeah, yeah, exactly. Or Mandy. Or Mandy. Yeah. No, but, his name is Mandus. But this is not... There is nothing feminine about this half-giant. He is a half-giant arena fighter. He went to gladiator school, but he dropped out. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it wasn't... There wasn't a challenge there. And, uh, and now he's exploring his wanderlust. He's got a lot of wanderlust, so. Well, that's something we can. That's something we can investigate. Yeah. That's the sort of thing you want to put on your profile, Scott. Oh, I, um, I am Tuzel, the bloody handed. Now it's important to note the blood on my hand is not mine. No, it's someone else's my blood. My enemy's blood. Mm. You didn't just cut your hand. No, <laughs> you were cautious. <laughs> 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 oh, he opens a can. Oh, and Whoops. somebody saw it. And uh, then, that's you. <laughs> that's you now. I was born into servitude to to fight in arenas and trained in unarmed combat. But the person who trained me, his school was destroyed by a rival. And uh, I'm kind of wandering around now trying to earn enough money to buy my freedom before they realize I've, I'm, not, I'm not with those who own me. Oh, okay. Nice. So, yeah. And, and so something else that's important to note is that a monk obviously is a, is a, is a, a considerable force as a fighter, but the source of their power is psionic. Yeah. Um, I mean, they—they they are. It's all mental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, their 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 hands deal the same type of damage that a weapon would, mm-hmm. and it's the focused psionic power that does that. That's the other thing we should note about Athos, is that while arcane magic is almost universally reviled, psionics are a way of life. Even mm-hmm. I have a little bit of psionic in me. Yeah, yeah I was just gonna say, <laughs> you know, I'm talking about. Um, no, but I'm three quarters psionic on my, well, on on your, my mom's dad. Side. On your mom's side. <laughs> um, I think that gives you um, some 
uh, annual money from the casinos, from the Psionic casinos. <laughs> if you have at least 25%, there's some casino yeah. money, Dark Sun Casino I'm money take for it. you. Um, I don't think I don't think that I dropped out of gladiator school because you change it. Well, it turns out that my wisdom is negative one, <laughs> so I think I couldn't cut it in gladiator school. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't quite have what it took. Yeah, I don't think I was we able to make it. We were about to salute Dayu. No, what? <laughs> no, no, no. That's wrong. That's wrong. You did it backwards. That was the entrance exam. Uh-huh. You blew it. You blew it. I don't it. even think you I could find bike. gladiator school the first day. <laughs> You just go you just to a different place up. each day. Well, maybe I don't like gladiators. I went school. to a bakery maybe and just forget it. Turn the place out. <laughs> Chris, begin. Holding <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the sword all, by the all these scars on him <laughs> from himself. <laughs> yeah, but there's people who train in psionics. Um, but there, it's also not uncommon to develop uh, psionic power. Just independently of of training, like it's it's that it's that common. Just at home. Yeah, it, it's it'd be like a correspondence course, where you get the video, and then you learn to you know dust things psionically. Sure. Um, you get the convenient. top when your psionics kick in. Your dad usually pulls you aside <laughs> and gives you the top. You noticing some changes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> noticing like some. Like the walls uh, are blown out of the house. <laughs> are you controlling? Strong. Are you controlling the pets with your mind again? <laughs> yeah, but these are the. Uh, these these are the this are the that's the basic material. Okay, I'm right. ready to adventure. Are we good? I'm right. ready to wander some lust. All right, it sounds good. So it, it sounds like, uh, from what I've heard, we all have a reason to, uh, except for me, because I don't literally exist in this setting. But uh, there's a reason for everyone to uh, to be on the move, mm-hmm. uh, taking jobs as they come. Simple uh, jobs. Yeah, where, where, where they can get them. Um, that's I, all you can yeah. handle. <laughs> 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 lifting, lifting heavy things, putting heavy things on top of other heavy things. Even mm. when not asked. <laughs> exactly. Just of your own, like I'm a freelance, <laughs> just moving boulders. Back and forth. Um, uh, the city of Alteruk uh, is one of the few cities uh, that is not uh, actually operated by the Sorcerer Kings. It is a, uh, a group of trade concerns, different trade houses together that... Uh, that manifest a certain amount of protection from roving bandits and so forth. It is situated between Tyr uh, and Balak. Balak is is uh, the closest thing you'll get to a sort of democracy where a sorcerer king is at the top. Uh, and there is a uh, a caravan that is asking for additional protection between Alteruk and Tyr. And there is a lot of talk going around Alteruk because it is said that the sorcerer king Kalik of Tyr was put down by a slave rebellion. Mm. I have to. I have to emphasize how, again how inconceivable this is. So this is rumor. This is right now. It's just a rumor. But there are a lot of trade caravans that are moving out of this uh, out of this hold toward Tyr to verify the rumors um, and to try to put down stakes. And see what they can get. In case. And the road between here and there is pretty bad. There is no such thing as a good road. Oh, okay. In Dark Sun, <laughs> it's six lanes. If you were to, if you were <laughs> beautifully to, kept, if, it, it, it's but it's but it's just a brick wall. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> there's, it's, it's rush hour all the time. Except instead of cars, it's horrific uh, wasteland mutants. Okay. okay. Um, so that's that's so the we basic want a side idea. Road or what we <clears throat> well, the way that the way that it works is that. Um, even even when t- you would never just travel from place to place, you would probably try to go along with a trade caravan, mm-hmm. and you would be associated with that trade caravan in a defensive capacity. Yeah, the idea, there's there's no there's no pleasure travel. Okay, <laughs> it just doesn't it just it doesn't exist. Yeah, and you have heard that House Galash uh, has a has a very well regarded scout guide named Duma. That, that always always gets the the, the trains rain on time. The, the trains run on time when he's in, when he's out front. I thought you told me there weren't trains. Well, I'm, I'm using train as a metaphor. Oh. This is not a literal train. It's a train of sorrow. It's like a train <laughs> of misery, of human misery. All right. Um, and they they have uh, they have additional space, and they are leaving in the morning. Excellent. Well, I'm up bright and early. Since I only require six hours of sleep, anyway. I forgot to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still just standing out for the inn. Why do I feel so bad? 
<laughs> but you were you where you were when I left you last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it got really cold for a while. <laughs> Look, I guys, didn't know why. <laughs> I, I need the work, so I'm going to get on this caravan. Yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> primarily... You should tie him up out front like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> just so he doesn't no, wander No, like, like the elephant, right? <laughs> that just, he just has yeah. the rope, and then he sees the rope, and just he, yeah. he, even though he's a half-giant, it doesn't occur to him that he can pull <laughs> he away. He can break it up. <laughs> Mantis. Hmm. You want to go to here? Mm-mm. Yeah, you do. All right. Let's go. <laughs> uh, you see, and are, you are overjoyed to see, a group of incredibly heavy boxes... <laughs> Next to an empty cart. <laughs> Boxes? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you have seen this configuration before and you like it. <laughs> this I can do. Absolutely. You're what's also. Your, what's your name? Uh, Tizzle. Tuzzle. Okay. Oh, you probably, could probably call you Tooze or something. You can call <laughs> Tooze. <laughs> just do two. Tooze, look at me. Tooze, look. <laughs> Good job, Mantis. Yeah. Lift another one. Okay. Thanks, Tooth. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Thank you for giving me permission. <laughs> All right, so you're... So you're I'm just... I'm just, just wants your approval yeah. so bad. <laughs> look, look, one hand. <laughs> look, look, look. Tooth, look. Tooth, Tooth, look. I'm looking. I'm look. looking. Tooth, look. I'm looking. I'm looking. I see it. That's good. And you're, and you're not looking. No. <laughs> you're, you're, in, you're in the paper. I am. Yes. Okay. So I'm sort looking. Of waving a hand. Um, so you, you've taken up your... Uh, Carl, you've taken up your your customary observational role. Of course, it works for you. The, yeah, I don't go in for those shenanigans. Yeah, you don't mix <laughs> it, you don't mix it up. Um, just as the just as the carts are uh, are nearly loaded, um, you see a what looks like a, a house litter, a higher up house litter, which is fashioned from a a vast carapace, perhaps forty feet in length. A vast beetle carapace that has had holes punched through for axles, mm. huh. um, drawn by six karu, which are essentially um, we think of as them as a mix between a uh, sort of a like a buffalo and a, a camel. It's essentially a, a pack animal that stores its own water. Incredibly Jesus. strong, yeah. idiotic. I mean, all the all the things that you want in something that pulls something heavy. Sounds like someone I know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, it, pu- it it pulls up, and you can so. you can you can see very clearly. Um, that this is this is matron submatron Galash, uh, her official litter. You're apparently on some kind of tour um, nice. that she's going on. But they're but they're they definitely you, you can tell they definitely want to make a mark on this new tier if they're sending someone of this threshold mm-hmm. uh, down there. So she's up in this little thing. Yeah, yeah. She is. She is. She is. You imagine that she is somewhere within this armored carapace. Would it, would it be Would it be unthinkable for me to approach it? Um, let me see. Yeah, it'd be ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the die action came up ridiculous. He has one back there that just has words on no, it. It's just WTF. It's a question mark. <laughs> what? Um, at this point, I mean, it, it, after a job well done, that Maybe, might that yeah. might be a better gotcha. that might be a better play. As it stands, I mean, in addition, there's guards that guard the entire caravan, and she has her own elites. See, I um, see. That uh, that flank this bizarre maybe, litter that maybe she's got. Maybe she'll let me talk to her too. Because my charisma and my and my, I have I have beautiful hair. <laughs> sure to impress. Is that your distinguishing characteristic? Yeah, I have long, flowing locks of golden black hair. Yeah, um, it's a it's a <laughs> as it as it tends to be. It's a it's a real motley group. <coughs> um, you know these. As I said, I mean, if you're going to travel, you travel in a in a in a band like this. They're even thry cream among the people who are. Who are traveling? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is novel here at the table, but for a, a person in in Athens, this would, this would also be pretty straightforward. A thrycrene is a mm-hmm. uh, a thrycrene is essentially a intelligent uh, mantis. <gasps> Seriously, uh, that's which, like my name, which you it always is. wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe. <laughs> so you started calling yourself. Yeah. Um, you know the, the traditional. Uh, hunting foreleg, um, a second pair of uh, of clever arms. They're sentient. Quite. Hmm. Um, they Whoa. live. They live for. Uh, Are they secretive? Um, not, not especially, but they tend to live in in tribes. Hmm. Um, you can see that. You can see that this one uh, near the near the litter actually has the markings of House Galash on it. So you think that it may it may think of House Galash in some way as its clutch, like its tribe. 
they have a they have an imprinting thing that they do, and so it may be that it may be that it just it hashed at a at a strange time and now serves galash for some reason. They just they have a, they have a strange psychology. They don't you you've heard they don't sleep. <laughs> mm. <laughs> they have anesthetic. Uh, just taking my jobs. They don't understand sleep. <laughs> taking your jobs. Yeah, that's what I'm concerned with. Listen, the mantis men are doing the jobs yeah. that we won't do, <laughs> like eating bugs. But, <laughs> yeah. Insects. Yeah. Uh, the great gate of uh, Alteric wheels open. It's it's only opened for for comings and goings. The rest of the time, it, it is a hold against uh, roving bands of elves and whatnot. Um, uh, gates open. Uh, litter leaves. Uh, you see you see Dumas out front. Uh, Dumas is a mule, which is a uh, half human, half dwarf. Tall, stocky, hmm. uh, bald of head. I'm one of those, by the way. Oh, you yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, nice. Uh, the, the rumors that you've heard are true. He is completely blind, um, but he he is moving out in front of the, the hmm. caravan. You can see that he's holding a uh, he's holding some kind of a, a ball. In it. He has a handful of dust, and he's holding a uh, a ball in it. Hmm. And he seems to be just sort of going where it tells him to go. Ah, oh, wow! In the wild, in the desert, it's it's yeah, it's, it's a sight to see, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you've heard of scouts, and you, you've heard of you've heard of different kinds of compass devices, but this is this is he's definitely mastered it. It usually requires a touch of psionic power to to get the inf- to get what you want out of it. But he's clearly a, a united with this device. Uh, the caravan uh, begins to roll north. You're welcome to. Investigate the the caravan as you're walking. You can so talk we, to each other. You can talk to I'm each other. Pulling your wagon. Yeah, you're lashed to it already. <laughs> yeah. It would. the The reality is that uh, a half giant pulling a pulling a caravan or even pulling a wagon would not be inconceivable. Okay, that yeah. is cool. Definitely awesome. awesome on my wagon. Yeah. Um, I am sitting on the wagon. Could, can I get a, a history check? I would love to give you a yeah, history where check. Are, yeah, where's the stuff? No at? Uh, they're under your stats. I am without a. Mm-hmm. I'm without a skills page. No, I don't have that. Here you go. You have a history of zero. Oh, oh I see. It's written on. <laughs> I got a. I got a sweet history. Oh. Duh. Right. But I. That's a terrible roll. So I got. I got a history of eleven. Seventeen. Okay. Uh, I got an eight. So. It, yeah. it, it probably has to do with. It probably has to do with your, uh, your heritage. But you have heard. Uh, you've heard stories about uh, full-blooded giants mm-hmm. um, that people can purchase travel on. That people can that people travel on literally on on. Oh, they're like a ship or something, right? Hmm. That's, That's crazy. Cool. It seems awesome. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> it seems it, it seems like an awesome thing, which is what you aspire to be. <laughs> yeah, I want. I, I really want to be a full giant. Me. He doesn't understand that that's <laughs> impossible. He wants. He's hoping that when he grows up, well, he, he, he thinks yeah. he thinks that the older he gets, yeah, he'll just. He's, he's, he's been seen, getting bigger. He's seen it happen uh, since eat, he was little. I've been eating right. <laughs> what is this going to happen for me? Yeah, it's about nutrition. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so what, what's what's the caravan around? Because obviously this is a long string of carts and stuff. Right. right who right. who are our neighbors in this caravan? Um, uh, near near where you are are standing as the uh, as new scout guards. You're near the the vanguard in the front. There's probably some kind of seniority system where you get to be closer to the elites. Um, eventually, that has not happened uh, this time. But um, where you are near the front. Right just behind you is the Thrycrane I was speaking about earlier. It's making some like a humming, almost like a Katie did type sound. You assume it's either a form of communication or just a way to pass the time. Hmm. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't like them. You don't like the Crane? No, no, no. I'm not down. <laughs> they're, they're gross. They're bug men. They make things. They make juices. Yeah, listen, it gets worse. Yeah. Uh, you can see, you, you see her... Scoop up a handful of sand with one of her her clever manipulating hands yeah. at her waist. Horrible. Uh, as as they're walking, and you can see her pull something out of a pouch and chew it, and then she begins to mix uh, a thick saliva with the sand, pulling it out from time to time to shape it with her hands until she has something uh, that looks like a, a crystalline boomerang. Oh. It's a bladed. She has made a bladed weapon, 
while you're on the road. He, oh. You guys look back up to Mantis and you see him go, <laughs> and he's spitting sand out. And you're like, did you just did you eat sand? <laughs> <laughs> you trying to make a weapon? No. Yeah, you are. No. You are. You are. You are unable to. <laughs> That's crazy. You're unable to make it happen. Mm-hmm. Ugh. No. Nope. Not a fan. Yeah, that's. Horrible. He's like looking at another handful of sand. <coughs> no. Like maybe this, this time for no, sure. No, Mantis, you can't do it. <laughs> let him do it. <laughs> let him learn. Just He'll let him learn. learn. <laughs> let him go. <laughs> See. See, that didn't taste good, did it? (laughs) You know, we get a couple miles down the road. You may want to give it another shot. (laughs) No, he's going to forget. Let that that build up. (laughs) Maybe think about it a little harder. Yeah. Uh, In a a rarity uh, on Athos, you you do a full day's travel um, without any active altercations. Things circle up uh, in the eventide. There's not, there's not a whole lot of conversation. People don't know each other well. Because stuff's going to get... It's going to get cold now, right? Yeah, Bitter cold. It gets get super cold? Bitter cold. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, the, that's, the, that's provided for. Obviously, House Glash can't have its, its scout guards freezing to death overnight. You think you hear something like a, a calling in the distance, like a... Cuckoo! Yeah, no, not like that. What? Hmm. More like a horse. Nope. It's different than that. like a neighing. I'm yeah. trying to say it's horrifying. Oh. Oh. You are seared. No. It's uh it, it's definitely it's definitely bird bird noises. Can I get a nature check? How far in the, oh, it's gonna say. Six. Yay. Oh, eighteen. Oh, I got a, a crit. What do you have nature? One. To twenty one. Mm-hmm. You are an asset. It's pretty good. He's like a savant. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think it's a birdie. <laughs> it doesn't really. It's 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 like a birdie, but you don't think it's really a birdie. <laughs> and then, what do I? And like any like, animal, it's you can, frightened by noise. I come up and I'm like, "What is it? What is it, boy?" Like, <laughs> you, no, I was gonna say, like, "What do you hear?" I just stop and like, we have to read you. Like, what part of his body is he scratching? <laughs> what is it, man? That'll, that'll tell us what it is. Man, what he's do you not hear? gonna be able to? Say. Do I know what it is? It's just. It's not a. It's not a birdie. It's like okay. someone. It's like someone pretending to be a bird. What do you? Okay. What do you hear? How how far away is it? Not a bird. Not a bird. Not a. Okay, but it's not a bird. I point to where it is. Yeah. <laughs> point to where point. the birdie. Not bird. That point. Way. Okay. Not bird over there. All right. Well, we're. I think we're all turning in that direction now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, you turn in that direction. You hear a, f- a few more of these gush, scattered. Gush. Not a bird. Yeah, we know. We know. Now you need to sh- because. <laughs> <laughs> now you need to sh- <laughs> Is it hush, a hushy time? Okay. The adults mm. are listening. Um, um, as, as you begin to focus your attention in that direction, there are a few more scattered cause, and you can, you can hear them sort of separating out in the night and ultimately receding. Mm. Receding, huh? Was the rest of the well, caravan <laughs> alarmed at all? Uh, the, the, the elites, you don't think that anything could scare them. You think that you're not sure that anything could happen that they wouldn't manage. They seem pretty confident. Okay. Especially if it was just birds. All right. Not a bird. Not a bird. If some birds came in. Do they? Do we get an indication that they think it was birds <laughs> is the issue? Maybe that's why they're not afraid. They they are apparently on on pretty firm orders. I mean, you've, you've been on caravans where, you know, they'll have leave. A couple will, you know, a couple will leave and mingle feel out the scouts. Right. Um, but they are very, they are hewing incredibly close to the caravan, hmm. to the hmm. litter itself. I don't feel good about it. Well, I don't want to go exploring. I want to stay close to the caravan. I want to stay close to this hollowed out bug and this spit lady <laughs> with her weapons. <laughs> the spit lady? Yeah. <laughs> the spit bug lady? Yeah. Yeah, how are they reacting? Uh, How's she doing? <laughs> well, she, she is, visible. well, they, Get very confused by sleeping creatures. Oh, oh! When when creatures sleep, it just it seems like it seems like the stupidest thing they can imagine. It seems like a really bad idea. Well, as I have tire, if as I have, one of my abilities is tireless, I won't sleep this night. I only need. You to want sleep. to impress the bug? <laughs> yeah, 
I only sleep six hours in a 72-hour period. I, I revel in the fact that I sleep and confuse them. I feel like that's <laughs> something I have on them. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, how about like this? this? Do you get this? Huh? I'm about to <sighs> well, go What I just do. <laughs> now what? You would not believe the dream I had. <laughs> I get oh, that. oh, what's that? <laughs> what's a dream? Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I enjoyed it, though. I had a great night. Yeah. Know this. Yeah. <laughs>